Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of the build series of the Traxxas TRX4 2021 Bronco. And this installment, we are going to install this interior kit. So Seachand makes it, and I was thrilled when I saw it because my first thought was, thank God I don't have to make one myself. So that was nice. I've seen some reasonably reputable people install this, and kind of leads me to believe that it's pretty good. I was also curious what it was made out of. Now that I'm holding this in my hands, this is SLS plastic. I do not know if it is a black plastic or if they painted it. It's likely black. It is beautifully done. Damn, this is pretty nice. Holy crap. It looks like they took it. They uh, took something out of my book. You got the little vents here, the AC vents that are open. Oh yeah, I did that first. I opted for the one with the rear parcel shelf because why not? I mean, I'm not gonna have just a piece of plastic back there. Okay, this is not printed. That is likely laser cut. Piece of polycarbonate, nice. Some 3D printed parts. Let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh, it even comes with hardware. What the hell is so hard to come with instructions? I guess it's not particularly difficult, although I don't know what the hell that is. This is, wait, are there any stickers or something with this? Is something behind here? I can just, I can never get away with just buying something. I always have to build something. All right. Anyway, you have your headdress here. Very nice. There's a bit of slot in there. There's a little screw hole, is there? Yeah, a little screw hole there. So that's the headrest. These are armrests? These are something. I'm sure we'll figure that out eventually. This is the steering wheel. What in the hell is happening here? What is, what is this? Now, I, I'd like to say just once, I have, from time to time, driven a car. That, that isn't where the steering wheel goes. Why? Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, I'm not happy with that. Um, let's see here. So yeah, this is definitely for the infotainment system. That, is there something on this that I'm not seeing? There's a layer of film. It's just a layer of film. Yeah, that's it. It's just a layer of film on both sides of this. Um, am I... No, there's no stickers. All right, well, what they're likely wanting you to do is to go on the Ford website, download an image or take a screenshot of the infotainment system as well as the instrument cluster, and then you can just print it out. Completely not out of line, especially given the volumes they're producing here. Just, um, I wish I would have known that first. Here at the back, I'm going to assume it goes underneath like this. We have to install the longer screws, thread that in place there. Put the longer screws in and then I can see how that works. It's good enough. The rest of the interior. Okay, I think I've seen all these other mounting points. Let's flip the body over. Yeah. Now, obviously, I haven't, you know, made my lighting kit nice in the car. And the reason is I was waiting for the interior. So it appears that it'll go, yeah, it'll go just like that. This will thread into the front cowl here at the rear. We'll just pick up this mounting point and that mounting point, and I think we'll be good to go. Um, I might, yeah, I'm probably gonna try and put the wiring to one side. I didn't know how much clearance we had, but it looks like we have ample clearance. I have a plan. I'm going to primer this, probably in white or gray. I'm then going to paint this in a burnt metallic orange because I want an orange interior in this vehicle. Then we're going to do the seats in white. We'll do the dash inlay in white. Some other details here can be done in white or black just for contrast. I think enough paint will get on the door panels. And then 
I don't know what color to do this yet. Same with the headrest. Do the white. Steering wheel will be in white. Harrison Ford here will be driving. I cut off all of him. And then this is uh, the other the girl from Blade Runner 2020 something. His arms are pretty long. So the goal is to make a new mount for the steering wheel and park it right around there so that he can hold it. It's really going to offset only about 10 millimeters, which isn't too bad. I'm going to replace these two panels here with something 3D printed with some light pipes in it and some LED sockets so that I can put some gauges on it and then have it illuminate nicely on this. So let me do some painting and we'll be back. Spray the interior, the metallic orange that I wanted. Now we're going to go ahead and paint the seats. I wanted the seats in a matte white. The dash, we'll figure out We'll figure out the dash, but it just needs a lot more details in here because just right now it's blah. I'll be back with a lot more detailing work done to the inside of the Bronco. Right, so the interior has been detailed. I was able to do some more on the side door panels, but then I realized that both of the figures are going to take up quite a bit of the side. So I'm like, well, you're not really going to see anything. So I just did a little bit of contrast here and there. I did forget to put the headrests right here there. We'll put those in in a moment. And um, I did want to show a little modification that I did. So because the steering wheel will usually sit like this, which is utterly worthless, I made this adapter here, which I'll glue in place, that kind of just shoves it up and, whoops, just shoves it out more and significantly higher. So that this way, the figure, Harrison Ford here from uh, Blade Runner, will fit now. <laughs> A lot of modifications were made. He is no longer in mint condition. But there he is. I put his legs on the bandsaw. I can't use those. Where's the rest of the leg? Here it is. Okay. The leg will go right there. Kind of like that. And same with the uh, lady next to him. She'll have the same style of slightly modified leg. But that's what I've done on a number of my projects and you really don't see anything that's out of place once you've got the figures installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna use hot glue to hold everything in place and we'll be right back. Okay, so installing the interior is weird. It came with four of these M3 machine screws. I think they're like 12 millimeters long and it wants you to use all four of these, these I'm thinking, here at the rear, okay? Now I didn't do that, I only used them at the front and at the front, but not back here, just because there's really no reason to do it. But the weird thing is, is that the screw, the hole that you put this screw into is threaded. The mount that you screw into this piece here is also threaded. So basically you stick your finger back in here to pull this panel as high up as you can, thread this in, and it seems to have done a good job. It's not moving at all, so that's pretty good, but again, weird. Second weird thing, the door handle. This is a M2.5, I think self-tapping screws at 2.5 millimeter diameter. But the thing is, they didn't give you something to replace it with. So I happen to have a little bit longer M2.5 self-tapping screw. So I use that there. Again, they didn't give you one. And over here, they did give you these M2.5 machine screws, which are you know, about four millimeters longer than these. But I don't think that's enough because those cap screws sat completely flush with this and i don't think this is going low enough it doesn't seem bad but i feel like i may have slightly stripped one of these holes so anyway there it is there's eight mounting holes i used six of the eight and it seems to be in there pretty well because i didn't like those little plastic panels for the cluster i printed these this is for the infotainment system and this is for the instrument cluster and the way this works is you put the led in the back and it should illuminate this little panel quite nicely the same will happen with the infotainment system Went ahead and found a picture of the infotainment system and the instrument cluster on the internet. A friend of mine scaled them and printed them for me. My hands look terrible. I've been painting. Anyway, these are water slide decals. So let me go ahead and slide these on. Being aware what orientation the LEDs are in. It'll be that way. And then we'll pop this in the truck. All right, we've got cluster. And don't worry about the border because there's a little fascia in there so cluster and infotainment i'm going to snap those in so it's a little messy in here given on the fiber optics but you can see the five millimeter for the that's the cluster and behind it next to the blue light pipe where is it right there you can see it there 
That's the radio. We're just gonna cover a lot of these LEDs here in some liquid electric tape to mute the color so that we don't see all this glowing from under the dash. All right, are you prepared to see what I have done? Let's kill the light completely. <laughs> it's, it's not that bright in reality. Come on, let's try and focus in a little bit here. Maybe focus there. That's awesome. So you've got the little LEDs on top of the dash, or I should say fiber optic on top of da the, the dash. The radio, or it's, no, that's the heater controls, I think. Your shift indicator. In fact, you can see what setting they're in. It's the second from the top on the right. A few more lights back there. I don't know what any of these lights actually mean. All I know is that it's just kind of fun. So taking a look at it, now I'm terrified I've missed a speck or a fingerprint or something, and I, I really don't want to take this out. But it looks good. It looks really good. We're probably watching this out of order because right now I don't have the faceplate in there, but I'm sure in the, uh, the order that you're seeing the video, it is already in there. A bunch of goodies here in the back. Cool, and the little... <laughs> it's not the clearest thing in the world. All right, so there you have it. This is the C-Chan interior set for the Traxxas 2021 Ford Bronco.